Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I completely transformed this entryway space for under $100 using faux shiplap and paint. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around. I make new videos like this every single week showing you how to get the high-end looking home that you want at a price point that you can afford. So if you like that, definitely consider subscribing to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And let's go ahead and get into the transformation. So here's what we are working with. It is a very plain space. I did recently change out the light, so that's gonna be staying, but I really wanna add some more detail and make this feel special. So the first thing I'm going to do to update this space is remove the popcorn ceiling. It's really not hard, but it can get messy, so me and my little helpers are laying out some plastic to catch any of that mess. And I always use these really cool scrapers. They have the bag attachment on them, and it really helps the process not be so messy. So all you have to do is spray the ceiling down with warm water, and then get to scraping. And for the edges, I just use this small putty knife to get in around there. Once the ceiling was all scraped and sanded, I painted it in alabaster by Sherwin-Williams and I just already had this paint on hand and then I headed to bed. For this entryway, I was super inspired by this vertical shiplap and pegs like in these photos and really wanted to find a more affordable way to make this happen in my space. So I picked up this 4x8 hardboard for $18 and had Tim help me rip it down into 5.5 inch strips for my faux shiplap boards. Once the boards were cut down, I tried out a couple paint samples that I already had from choosing the color for my office. And this first one is called Urban Putty and it has slightly green undertones to it. And then the next one is Accessible Beige and that's like a really popular color. And then the third one is actually the color that I chose for my office built-ins, but it looks a little brown in here. So while I thought on those paint colors, I brought all of the faux shiplap boards in and started getting them up. I'm just using my nail gun to tack these into place and to give them more grip, I'm actually using two nails and shooting them in at an angle side by side so then they kind of crisscross behind the drywall in the back and that's going to keep them from pulling out of the wall. These boards weren't perfectly straight so I'm just eyeballing the gap between each board to make it look the best that it can. Once I got all of the strips installed, I measured out and cut down my trim pieces from this one by three and a half inch board. Once I got all my pieces cut down, I wanted to make the pieces three eighths of an inch thick so that they wouldn't stick out past the trim that's already in the entryway since I didn't want to replace that. So I'm just running each piece through the table saw to cut them down to the right thickness. And I didn't get this filmed, but once I got those cut down, I'm going back to my miter saw to cut a 45 degree angle off one end of each of these trim pieces so that they can fit into the corners seamlessly when they're installed. After I filled in all the nail holes and caulked around the edges, it was time to start priming. So I'm using this Zinzer 123 primer on these boards because they are very absorbent and slick and this primer sticks to it really well to make it a good surface for painting the next paint on. So I started out with a brush to paint inside of the gaps between the boards and this part was very time consuming but it gave it a really finished look. And then I just rolled the rest and I did two coats total. Next I wanted to add these cute pegs to make it more functional space so I taped them in place to make sure that I liked the spacing and used my laser level to make sure that they were all even. And once I liked the spacing, I drilled a hole the size of the dowel and filled it with some wood glue and then twisted the peg inside so that the glue would spread all around and then hammered it into place with a rubber mallet. So 
So back to the paint colors from earlier, I put up a poll on Instagram and most of you guys voted for accessible beige, which was honestly my favorite color too. But let me know in the comments below which one you would have chosen. So I started by painting the baseboards and then filled in the gaps and then finished it off with rolling. But later I actually switched to rolling first and then filling in the gaps and I actually think that that was faster. After I got the shiplap painted, I decided I wanted to paint all of the trim to match too and give the space more visual interest. And then I felt like the space was still missing something and I didn't like this door being white, but I actually did really like the black office door with the other colors in the space. So I decided to paint the front door Black Magic by Sherwin-Williams and I did three coats to make sure that I got all of the spots covered. The next day it was time for final touches so I installed this new door stopper which was super easy just twist it in and then I found this super cute little hanging basket at Goodwill for two dollars and thought it would be perfect for decorating the peg rail but I wanted to bring back the wood look that it had that someone painted over so I've seen some people use wood stain to give things a wood look so I thought that I would try that out here. So I grabbed these two stains and they didn't really give any coverage. It was very very light so I wanted to try this poly stain and it actually worked really well. So I just made sure to give it a good coat and get in all of the crevices all around the basket and inside as well. And for this hanging piece, I thought it would be cute brass, so I went in with some rub and buff, but I really hated the way that it looked, so I wiped off as much of it as I could and decided to try to give this part a faux wood look too, and I think that this actually worked out really well. So now I'm just adding in these final touches, and that is going to finish off this entryway makeover. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to find creative solutions to design the home that you love. And if you are new here, definitely subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. And also, you guys can go give me a follow on Instagram. I post new things over there every single day. I kept you guys updated with this whole makeover over there as I was going and behind the scenes and everything. So you guys can give me a follow over there too if you want and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.